What's up everybody and welcome back, it's Fire Mace here and we are playing some more Frostpunk. Yeah, so uh, we're picking it up where we left off uh, in the last episode. The only thing that I've done so far before the recording is I've been looking into the Coal Thumper, which is another method of for us to get more coal. Uh, a Coal Thumper will produce about 560 coal per day by spraying water into the ground uh, and that is enough for two gathering posts so I built a coal thumper there with two gathering posts and a coal thumper here with two gathering posts and uh, we're going to well hope for the best with that uh, we do not have enough people to run all of these equipment but I mean we're gonna try our best to see how we can make this work alright so what was this? Oh, that's a cemetery, that's fine. Uh, this also still needs people to work at it as well. Um, we have two workers and 11 engineers. <coughs> so I'm not sure how we're going to make that work, but we'll see. Alright, so let's uh, start the time. Discontent obviously is bad and hope is also rough because in the last episode we did put all the coal mines on 24 hour shifts. Uh, the other thing that I've done is, is I've sent the scouts home. They'll be here in 22 hours. And the reason why I did that is because the storm part that we're going to experience is really, really close. And they will die if they are outside and in, in the world when the storm hits. Alright, so let's speed up time and let's get going and see how well we do. Uh, obviously with the coal mines and 24 hour shifts we are m actually making uh, or storing coal which is really good um, but yeah let's get the thumpers going uh, unfortunately for us we can only have grown-ups working in the thumpers so but we can have kids working in the gathering posts. So yeah, we'll, we've got one thumper up and running. And we can put the uh, three engineers that we have left into that. Alright, so temperature is dropping to minus 40. There we go. Let's start looking at our temperatures in places. So even though it's minus 40, everywhere is still nice and warm. There is no need yet to activate the ther thermostats or the, <coughs> the heaters inside the buildings. For now, everything is still hot enough so that people will not get ill. Alright, so coal has dropped to 32, 28 now. We have zero hours of coal left. I don't know what we're going to do, but this is bad. The generator is shutting down. Okay, coal mining optimization has been researched. I'm hoping that that helps the coal mines to produce better. Uh, <sighs> yeah, I don't know. We're going to uh, research generator efficiency next so that we use less coal in the generator at least. At least. Unfortunately, the generator has now shut down. Everybody is now really cold. We do need the generator up and running we need coal to come in that is all i have to say about that uh, we can add uh, children into these gathering posts here so there we go they'll gather up the coal so this one will be running at full efficiency sort of um we can have i don't know let's put seven kids in that one and max that one out there we go so at least there will be some some coal gathered there for what it's worth um, and yeah but it's it's not looking good we need to obviously power this thing back on we cannot have it shut down if it's shut down people are freezing that is really bad for us uh, also now all of these oh no 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 that's incorrect 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 something has went horribly wrong Oh, we're on steam level 1 and that is what the temperature looks like on steam level 1. If we go to steam level 2, the temperature rises. Let's have a quick look. Uh, 
Ah, okay. All right, all right. So, it seems that we were burning coal at an accelerated rate because we were running this thing on two. So, if we put this to one until we research, uh, while we research the efficiency of, oh, there's something that happened here. Uh, Captain, we found a boy frozen to the bone in the cemetery next to a fresh grave. He must have been there for hours. He wants to call an emergency meeting. He says that if you agree, his mother will wake. Like Ah, uh, he must face his loss, damn it. That feels bad for us. Feels bad, feels bad, feels bad. Alright, so I'm gonna... This thing's now on uh, Steam Level 1, or it's gonna go to Steam Level 1. And then what I would rather do is... Put the thermostats on and all the buildings for now. Quite simply because... We want to try and save up some coal for when the storm hits very soon. <coughs> also, these guys do have resources with them, although they only have 73 coal with them. So, I don't know if we're going to survive this first storm. And if we do not, then uh, I know it, it will probably be bad for us. Because they're going to go to bed now and then... Yeah. What can I say? They're gonna go to bed, the storm's gonna hit during the night, let's go. I don't know if the scouts are gonna make it back either, that is the worst part. Alright, they made it back. So, they brought us 73 coal. And, alright. Ladies and gentlemen, here we go. It's only for a day. I don't think we have enough coal for a day. But here we go. The storm is about to hit. And it is going to hit right now. <laughs> Just get some research going as well. Resource. Oh, what is this? Oh, the factory. All right. Resources. Steam coal thumper. Now we need to get the coal up and going as much as possible. Let's start that. It's about to hit. It's about to hit. It's about to hit. And then it's going to be cold for a day. I feel like we need to switch off all the buildings so long we don't want people working while the storms go and we don't want them to go to work they're going to freeze to death and uh, we need to preserve in fact let's quickly pause here before it freezes over uh, show me the heat map switch all of these off we don't need any of this running go into this building here switch it off switch that off switch all of this off and obviously turn off the buildings um, this one I believe we could just switch it off it's fine uh, switch off 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 and off then turn off these buildings we must get ready to hunker down for the coming storm so all of this is switched off the people shouldn't be going there to start with. Let's uh, start time. There we go. All right. Uh, we need to pause. All right. So we need this guy on level two. We have eight pill people ill immediately. We need to switch it to overdrive also immediately. Uh, we need thermostats to be on everywhere where they're not on in this area. All right. Let's go. There's nothing we can do, anyway. We have coal for 8 hours. Let's just go. Time. Get 3 hours. Oh, there we go. We're out of coal, boys. We're out of coal, we're out of coal. There's nothing we can do, we must just hit it. And hope for the best. 
We need to make it through the cold sprout. There's nothing we can do about it. What is this? We have people that are freezing. There's nothing that can be done about it. So I don't know how we're going to make it through this. We're going to have a lot of sick people. We don't have enough people to look after them either. We must do something so these people are getting frostbite. Um... I guess we'll go for radical treatment. New law. A new law has passed. We're almost out of this, guys. We're almost out of it. We've got so many sick people. I'm just trying to get out of the storm. Alright, let's pause everything. <coughs> we need to switch things on. I think we're screwed. I, th I don't think there's any way we can make this work again. I think the first storm has perhaps killed us. And unfortunately, that is just the way of the game, guys. I don't think we really survived this first one. We'll s we're switching everything back on. So let's get everything back up and running. And uh, let's see what happens. <coughs> A lot of people are not going to be working quite simply because there is nobody to work if people are ill they cannot work we have 47 sick people zero of them at least gravely 10 people are uh, being treated uh, so all right so we have some coal we can at least get the generator to steam level one for now a lot of our buildings are not running at full capacity which is obviously not good for us let's add research here gathering house Gathering post insulation. Let's have a look at the temperatures. It is it's still cold in most of these places. Um, oh no, there we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. That's good. Steam level one is good enough for now. Uh, overdrive off. All right. Uh, let's get the scouts going. We've made it through the storm. We just need to get the people healed up as much as possible and then we'll see. Alright, so the landscape has now changed. Uh, let's go to the ruined observatory. Let's see what's going on over there. We'll send them out. Discontent is falling. We have a desirable law that is helping us with our hope. <coughs> Uh, on wood we are full, so I feel like we should get a gathering post placed, uh, not a gathering post, I'm sorry. A resource depot placed for, um, for wood. Uh, oh yeah, sorry, we need to build it first before I can assign it. Uh, Alright, let's speed up time. There's a dude missing here, obviously that's probably the amputee. Gathering post installation has been researched. Let's pop into new research. Um, I, f I feel like that's basically what we can do for the gathering stuff right now. At food and health care. Um, What is there really that we can do for healthcare? We can have infirmaries. What do the what does the infirmary do? 
Oh, we can't build it. We don't have the core for it. So we no need to research that right now. Uh, we'll get the healthcare insulation. At least those posts will be a little hotter. Uh, do we have any engineers working in any of these buildings? We have five in here. So I'm going to bring that down to none. And uh, I am going to build another medical post. <coughs> Excuse me. Right here. Um, and hopefully we'll get some more of these sick people treated soon. Although the problem is, is that we don't really have anybody to build these places. Okay, we're up to a thousand coal for now. Food's looking good. Everything else is looking good. It's just the sick people. The sick people are a real big problem at the moment. Uh, I just opened a new medical post. Damn, I need to do another one now. This is a problem for us. Uh, this needs to go towards wood. Damn, 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 damn. I didn't want to build... I really didn't want to build another one. We don't have people that can work on it. Okay, we'll squeeze a medical post in there. Uh, we'll... Uh, you see, it needs engineers. Alright, so let's take this to none anyway. Uh, and switch this building off for now. Uh, where can I get engineers? Alright, so there are engineers working in here. Go max max. And then, yeah. When they finish building that one, we'll open another medical post. Uh, I don't know, it's taking a long time for these people to heal as well. None of them are going to get amputated, at least. We only have the one amputee. We can't build them anything to get him back to work. Yet. That all th our next mission is just to survive the next storm. So hopefully we'll be able to do that when the next storm hits. Alright, so let's get this to max as well. So I hope rises just because we built another healthcare facility. Um, let's go to adaptation um, we did radical treatment we can do overcrowding our medical should be fully utilized even if we have to put patients on the floor uh, the capacity of uh, medical facilities will be dab doubled using the extra capacity will cause discontent discontent will rise slightly so it doesn't have a negative effect on them really uh, we can do extra Okay, I feel like this is better because we can do the extra rations with the extra food that we have and basically get people to be healthier sooner. So I'm going to sign this. Um, then I'm going to go to the medical post. Uh, we're going to implement the extra rations here. Uh, medical post over there, extra rations. Isn't there a way to skip to the ne next building of this type? There we go. Extra rations here extra rations here all right so that's the four of them we're doing extra rations hopefully we will get these people on their feet sooner we need to because there are more people falling ill constantly as well that number keeps climbing now and we need to rotate them out as soon as possible the only problem is some of these people are sick so there's absences where they shouldn't be all right but let's keep it going let's keep it going for now I mean, there is not really anything else we can do. We need to keep it going. Uh, those guys are going to arrive soon. They're four hours away. Okay, so healthcare insulation has been researched. The healthcare buildings shouldn't be uh, as cold anymore. They should be nice and toasty now. Uh, which means the people that are in there should be better off as well. Uh, I'm going to research bunk houses so that we can upgrade the houses that we have to bunk houses. That will also help with keeping people healthier when it gets colder. Uh, and the more insulation we can do, the uh, better it is for us so that we don't have to keep putting the generator on a higher level. We're trying to save up coal now for the next big disaster that is coming. In fact, we will go to resources and a resource depot, depot will be built. Um, I'm not happy. Okay, let's just place it there for now. 
Uh, this one will also be dedicated to coal. Uh, we're still good on food. I'm, I'm not concerned about food at the moment. I'm only concerned about sick people. Unfortunately, we don't have enough employees to... We don't have enough people to employ to do everything that we need done. Uh, I really hope the scouts find an Ottoman, s Ottoman soon. I really, really do hope for that. So, looking temperature-wise, we're all good still. Everything's fine. Those guys are an hour away. Let's uh, speed up time. Alright, so they're waiting. Let's hop over to them. They're going to find some coal and some steel. There's nothing to see here. Alright, so we'll take that. They found something else, an empty cave. Let's go to the empty cave. Pop back in here. Um, this th that thing needs to be built. It's not being built. So until they build that, there's not really we can something we can do. Alright, so this place was now built. We'll dedicate it to coal as well. And let's get this going. So, and I, there's one thing that I would like to see. We found, oh, there we go, economy. So, if we look at coal, we are, our coal consumption per day is 648 and our gain is currently 1622. So, our coal currently, at our current usage, will last for 2 days and 11 hours. Alright. So, okay. We're doing good on the coal for now. If we can keep it like this for a bit, we should be fine. Uh, obviously, I need these guys to finish. Um, I needed something finished. Oh, I need the researchers to finish the housing so that we can upgrade the housing. Uh, we have a bunch of wood, so it shouldn't be a problem to do that. Uh, we've got the sick down to 23. I'm really happy with that for now. Alright, so bunkhouses has been researched. Uh, let's get back to research. We need to get the research flowing. Hunting tactics, the guys will basically bring in more food. So let Cookhouse installation. Why is it connected to bunkhouses? I don't understand. Uh, I want to get the hunting tactics better. More food. Better for us if they can bring in more food. Uh, scouts have reached the empty cave. We'll explore it. A new landmark basically has been found. What is this? Scattered sleds. Small airship. We'll definitely go to the small airship for now. Keep those guys moving. Um, Alright. That's basically what we can do for now. Let's get to building. We'll go to people and we'll start building these bunkhouses. They'll fit right on top of the ones that we have already. They'll count as upgrades. Now we do have a bunch of these that we need to do. I don't know how long the wood will last. Apparently what we've run out of is metal. And the reason currently for that is because this is the only metal gathering facility that we do have. So, yeah, there's, that, there's always that. Alright, but there'll, there'll be a bunch of houses upgraded. At least that's a good start for us. And they'll be basically doing it during the night as well. So, what I would like to do, though, is, ca if I can, at resources, I would like to build one more resource depot. And this one will be dedicated to food now. And uh, build one more. Alright. Unfortunately, no more. We have no more steel, so it cannot be done. This thing still says it needs a road. I'm really confused as to why the road was never finished for it, but there we go. There's a road. Okay. Let's speed up time. So the steel is coming in really slowly. Okay, hunting tactics have been researched. I don't know if we can really research anything else. Oh no, we can. Uh, infirmary. Oh no, I need a steel core for that. Hunters. We can upgrade the... Oh, they'll be able to fly. 
that'll give us flying hunters all right uh, the resource depot depot upgrade I think that is something that we should maybe look at heating S uh, overdrive couplings allows you us to raise the temperature of all these when generators put the overdrive all right we don't really want that um, let's go for the improved okay we cannot do that so it seems like the only thing that we really can research is this we'll research that for now it will improve our storage capacity at least okay so bunk beds are being upgraded you'll be able to see the difference already as they change you'll s be able to see how much better they are at keeping people warm so obviously that is something that we would like to do uh, to save this patient's life we had to perform an amputation uh, okay so this guy is also now out of work we must do something about it uh, we can build the care house basically triage what is triage oh, all right we're not going to do triage triage uh, we will sign we will sign for care houses so we will not need to build a care house uh, we cannot build a care house we need five steel so we will have to wait until tomorrow morning to do that uh, so far so good the sick amount of sick people is falling we're down to 15 now so I'm not too sad to, well too upset with that what we have happening there okay so it is getting colder now obviously the tents are now a problem and work areas become a problem so I think what we will do is we're gonna have to go up one level on the generator just to heat everybody up properly um, that should that should do it for us let's just have a look here there we go yeah all right so that that's good everybody's doing well that's good all right so unfortunately we still have places that are not running at full capacity uh, bad for us uh, this one I said we were going to dedicate uh, well let's dedicate this one to coal I wanted to dedicate it to food but it seems we're fine with the food for now okay let us get going let's speed up the time a little bit more okay we have a problem here Captain, the beacon looks have reported an extraordinary uh, Victoria class dreadnought wreck has been spotted. These advanced vehicles were used for the most important task. Uh, the news fills our people with nostalgia. We might find some heirlooms when our past in the Hulk, says one of the scouts. A worker adds, we should gather them so that our children remember who we once were and who we might yet become. The wreck has been marked on the map. We have to explore it. So that is it over there. I'm going to let these guys finish this because they're only seven, hour, seven hours away. Yeah, I'm going to let them finish it because, like I said, they're only seven hours away. All right, so we need to build a care house um, uh, because, well, we need to. Uh, we basically said that we would because we are suckers. So we're, I'm going to place a care house right there. Uh, but the amputees will be able to live in there for now um, so yeah it's nice and hot in that one uh, so let's speed up time get these okay so the resource depot upgrade has been researched we need to build one more resource depot so resources resource depot we need we need one more we don't have a choice we need to get f higher food amounts in Okay, so let's speed up time now. The Keras promise has fulfilled. The hope rises again. It's good for us. Unfortunately, we have uh, one person now. Whoa, why do we have 20 people that are not working? Okay, these guys have reached their destination. We'll explore this. Take all the resources that are there. Uh, and then we're going to pop them over to the buried dreadnought let's go it's gonna take them three days to get there anyway all right so let's speed up time again 
Uh, this one is now ready to be dedicated to food rations. There we go. Uh, we only have 14 steel, so that is a problem. We have a lot of places where people are now, where we are down manpower, basically. So, let's look at this. There is an engineer here. So, we'll take one engineer away from there and put him... No, in fact, we're not going to do that. We're going to max this guy out. Uh, we're going to say none in here and we're going to turn this building off for now. Then we're going to select this and we're going to max it out with that. There's 20 workers available still. Holy crap. Where did all these people come from? Max that out. Max that out. Max that out. Can I build another st steel works? Yes, please. We're gonna wait and have people fill that in. Alright, so road. I'll have a road running through there. Just like that. Let's do it. I would like to have that steelworks up and running before I add more people anywhere else. I need to get more steel in. Alright, so let's play time. Let's go. Okay, so everybody seems to be pretty happy at the moment. This content is nice and low. Everything's going well. That place is done. Let's max the steelworks out for now. Alright, sweet. So we have the steelworks going. Uh, wood is falling uh, quite fast. So I'm going to switch this building on. And we're going to go max, max. And then for the three people we have left, we will max it into that. Alright, so that is as many people in the coal thumper as uh, we can. In fact, let's go... Oh no, that's children. So they cannot go there. We'll max it out. Yeah, alright. Now that's fine like that. Then let's speed up time again. Those guys are on their way to the relic site. It's about to get warmer soon. Then we can obviously run the generator on a lower level again all right so let's have a quick look here so from a research perspective we've done as much as we possibly can uh, for the resources for now uh, the only thing is is we can upgrade the steam to steam we can upgrade that we can upgrade the sawmill, so it will give us better steel harvesting and better wood harvesting from the ones that we do have. Obviously, we will need to build them. Uh, okay, let's do the st steam steelworks first, because we have a lot of wood. Alright, so we'll research that for now. Sick people going down constantly. We're down to only two sick people now. And uh, I think when the scouts reach the destination where they're going, that is when we'll go over. Alright, so we have eight uh, amputees. This is really bad for us, but we can sign the law now at adaptation where we'd had care houses. There is now the possibility for prosthetics. And we can do the factory next we'll research the factory and then we'll start creating prosthesis for these people get them back to work all right so 12 people in hospital we have 12 sick people in total everything is running smoothly again everything is looking great so our steam steelworks has been researched let's go in here steam steelworks Let's upgrade the steamworks at these uh, places, like that. Um, in the research facility, let us add research that will now give us the steam sawmill. Alright, and then let's build uh, a P 
people, bunkhouses, let's upgrade as many of these as we can. It's not going to be a lot, but let's do it. I think we can only do one more. Uh, two more. That's it. Alright, so most of our houses are almost upgraded anyway. So not bad. Only problem, we have 65 people without homes. But it is nice and hot in this area. It shouldn't be a problem. And they should be able to build that kind of quickly. So let's speed up time again. Hopefully we don't get more sick people. Although with all the medical facilities that we are running, we should be more than capable of handling any sick people that we now get. Alright, so we got two sick ones. They're into a medical post immediately. One more sick into the medical post. So everything is now running smooth as clockwork. Food's looking good. We don't have any prosthesis. We need to research the prosthesis, but we're going to upgrade uh, our sawmills first, I think. Although these guys will not be harvesting resources for very long. I don't know if it was really worth it to do it. But it is done. I mean, I suppose we can... Because this is a wall drill. This is not a... <laughs> In fact, I think that is going to be the best plan to do. I think what we're going to do is, is I'm going to dismantle this building and dismantle this building. Like that. I am also going to dismantle this, which will gain me some steel. We will then go into this facility over here at Tech. Okay, we need a little bit more steel. But let's just speed up time and get that. So we're going to dismantle those wood gathering facilities over there. There we go. Um, at the research facility, let's go in here. Uh, abort this for now. See, the steam wall drill is what we have. So that is better to upgrade. I think what we're rather going to research is if we go to exploration and industry, um, we're much rather get this. Unfortunately, we can't build it yet, but it's let's research it nonetheless. Uh, then what I want to do is, is we'll go here with the steam hub. I just needed to hit this building, so the steam hub will go there, just like that. Uh, we will then activate this building, we'll switch it on, and we're going to put max workers into that. This thing will give much more wood than those two gathering posts, uh, uh, sawmills were giving us. So I think that is a much better play to make at the moment. I really do. And I feel like from a road perspective we should streamline this road, have it connect into that directly like so and then I think we should dismantle this piece of road here like that and then dismantle this piece of road like that alright let's speed up time and see how this goes Okay, so people, bunkhouses, there's only a few left. I say we upgrade the ones that are left. Get it done. Alright, the road is almost done as well. So we have the road done, it's going to connect. There we go. So that place now has heat. So there's heat here, everything's working fine. Alright, everything's working fine. We've picked up something somewhere. Something somewhere some uh, something has happened somewhere. I don't understand. I heard a noise. I'm not sure. Alright, let's do it. All the houses are upgraded. It's night time. Everything's going alright. 
So we really need to find a steam core. I'm hoping they find a steam core at this ship that they're on their way to. Okay, so it's going to get colder now and then it's going to get colder again. So I think what we need to do is just we'll go to steam level 2. Uh, and the next research is going to be to the place where we can get the steam level 3 as well. Alright, so let's have a look at the heat. We're doing alright everywhere. Everything's look everywhere it's looking fine where there needs to be heat. There is heat. So we're doing alright from a heat perspective now. Um, those guys are three hours away. We're going to run into uh, cold thing again. So I say we put another one down. In fact, let's put two down for the coal, straight up right now. Let's get those guys to that thing. We need a we need a steam core, guys. We really do need a steam core. All right, play. There's a problem here. A, a crowded shelter. Captain, look at that. We can have sight of the storm shelter full of people. I see, we definitely want these people. Uh, is it this storm shelter? So we will send the scouts there next. After we send them home with the stuff that they have. Alright, so let's go, let's go, let's go there. There, we've made it, we've done it. There is a relic to acquire here, so explore it. What is the relic? Okay, so the dark maze of passages inside the wreck is full of promises and mortal danger. This Victoria class dreadnought used a highly toxic fuel for the auxiliary propulsion system, enabling to move for some time after being buried by an avalanche. Exploring the wreck will be dangerous unless we spend some resources to prepare for a safe access. Okay, now explore it safely. Yeah, I'm fine with using that resources. Okay, a piece of the past. What did they find? Well, apparently they're on their way back to base. So let's get them here. Okay, so the scouts have returned. Uh, they have rejected Ottoman designs. I don't know what that means. But alright, they brought me rejected Ottoman designs. The scouts explored the are back with their find. A curious crowd guy and eager to see what the memories of Tosa brought with them. We should build the archives to store such heirlooms safely and to allow everybody to see them. Alright, so now I need to build an archive. Where do I do this? Public archives. Holy crap, it's gonna take... 400 wood all right so we need wood to do that all right well we will we'll build that that's not a problem but for now uh, let's quickly the storm shelter let's just get those guys going there so long um i think when we get the 400 wood guys i'm gonna build the archive and that's gonna be the end of that ep this episode so let's get that done uh, let's dedicate this one to the steel. There we go. And then let's speed up the clock a little bit. Uh, we still have the one hungry person that I really don't understand how's that, how that is even possible. It is so weird. But it's one of those things, I suppose. Okay, so let's get back to work. I need the wood. I'm not going to research anything because I need the wood, obviously. Alright, so that's it. That's 400 wood. We have archives. It's a kind of a large building and I suppose it will need heat. So we will place it here. It's Why is it showing me that it doesn't have rotor? Okay, so apparently this thing wants to be close to the peeps. I'm going to stick it in there, like that, we'll build it and quickly have a look at its heat requirements. But apparently it wants to be close. Oh, my scouts have reached the storm shelter, damn. Survivors, okay, so explore. Escort the volunteers to our city. Whoa, this is a lot of people. 
This is a problem. So it's going to be another 100... 200 and... Ooh, 200 and something, it seems. So that's 105 plus 8. It's 113. Mm, 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 mm. That's 21 houses. That is 21 houses that we need to build. Now. We have to build 21 houses. We have 47 wood people the houses cost 20 wood I suppose we have to start right we can't just leave it until they finally do get here need to drag it out through there These were bunk houses, right? Yeah, bunk houses. So that's five. Obviously, they're freezing cold. Temperature-wise, yeah, they're going to be freezing cold. But it's, it's a start. We have some houses being built. Uh, bunk houses again. I'll start there. Not enough wood. So there, there'll be two that fits in there. That'll make seven. Alright, so now we need them... Oh, crap. Okay, so the archives stand tall, clearly visible from every part of the city. People talk about them excitedly, eager to see the first relics of our heritage and recall their past lives. Whenever... Yeah. Yeah, whenever we recover something worth preserving, we can bring it to the city and add it to the collection. Uh, it will connect us with the world we left behind and let those who come after us know that we were here. Alright, that's pretty cool. It's freezing in the archive though. And it can only hold 15 relics anyway. So, I feel like the archive needs to have... Take steam hub uh, if I can hit the this place and some of these houses that would be perfect so we'll put one over there all right well guys that's going to be it for today's episode uh, we'll pick it up next time when we come back uh, I want to thank everybody uh, for coming to hang out with me today thanks for watching the video it really I really do appreciate it if you did enjoy it, remember to drop a like on it. If you're new and you haven't already, please don't forget to subscribe. It really does help a lot and I really do appreciate the support on the channel. And um, yeah, share the video with your friends and your family. I'll see you all next time in the next video. Cheers.